Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and this is the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today, just a quick video, I'm going to go through the top three things that I think everyone should get for their tanks that have absolutely nothing to do with reefing but are really useful in the hobby. The first is a simple acrylic tube. This is super useful to have around your tank. I got this from pckscare.com and it's actually for water cooling for uh, computer systems, custom computer systems. That's what its intended use is. But I use this to target feed corals. So you can stick this in the tank, put your pellets uh, like LPS coral food through the top and the pellets will gradually sink down the tube and you can have the uh, end of the tube just at the mouth of large corals um, like LPS, Scalemia, um, Acans, uh, my meat coral, Duncans, even hammers and torches are really easy to feed with this. Uh, it's a lot less wasteful than just dumping a lot of LPS pellets on the, in the tank and hoping for the best and it can really help you target feed those difficult um, yet hungry corals. All right, the next one's pretty obvious and I think most people probably have these anyway, but the, the standard mechanical light timer. Uh, these are used for absolutely everything in the hobby. So much of the equipment we have in our tanks only needs to be run periodically or for whatever reason you might want it to automatically turn on or off and not everything has digital control built into it with apps or programmability. So for example, I use one of these on the lights on my uh, refugium and on, on my algae turf scrubber. Uh, I've used it on my skimmer in the past to have it turn on and off at different periods. Uh, if you've got t T5 lights like I do as well, it's unlikely that the controller uh, for those would be built in, so you might need one of these. Um, so it's always good to have a few of these lying around. You can buy them at Bunnings or at, uh, any hardware store. Some supermarkets even sell them as well. Uh, they're super reliable and very easy to program. All right, the last suggestion I have for a non-reefing item that's absolutely so helpful in the hobby is a splitter for this type of cable. Now, so much of our equipment uses these cables. It's, it's a standard Australian plug to what's called a C13 uh, connector. The female connector here is called a C13 connector. Now, our... Wave makers, probably your return pump for your main overflow, uh, possibly. function exactly the same way as a power board so you don't need to worry about overloading uh, your sockets as long as you stay within a 2400 watt or 10 amp limit um, which is standard for most Australian uh, power plugs and circuits in your house. So that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. Just a quick video on three things that you can get for your tank. I'll put links in the description for all of them where you can buy them from. If you've got other ideas for non-reef related equipment that you can use for your tanks post in the comments below. My name is Marcus, thanks very much guys.